Now, I definitely think this was her color blue, right? I'm, I'm shocking. It had to have been her favorite color, right? Can someone get back to me on that by today, please? I'm on it. Hello everyone, welcome back to A Message of Hope. It's so good to have you with us today. Before you leave, be sure to like, comment, share, subscribe this video. We wanna reach more viewers like yourself. We're gonna begin with a memorari prayer. If you'll join me in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to thy protection, implored thy help, or sought thy intercession was left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, I fly unto thee, O Virgin of virgins, my mother. To thee do I come, before thee I stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not my petitions, but in thy mercy, hear and answer me. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. This is a picture of me and my mom. Thank God I have a really good relationship with my mom. We get our nails done, we go out to eat, we go on girls trips. I talk to her about everything. I talk to her about what brings me sadness, what brings me joy, whether I had a good day or a bad day. And that relationship is fostered every single day. Every time I call her, text her, see her in person, whatever it is, I turn to my mom for so much. Why am I talking about my mom? Well, I'm talking about Our Lady in Blue. I'm talking about the Virgin Mother, the Mother of our God, the one who is our mother of past, present, and future. Whether you have a good relationship with your mom or not, whether you have a mother figure in your life or not, Our Lady is our mother, our Heavenly Mother, and she still wants a relationship with you. She desires to know you and to love you, and she wants you to enter into a relationship that I have similar to my mom, where she wants to hear from you every day. And what is the perfect way to be in communication with Our Lady is through the rosary. And the rosary is a powerful weapon. I know in previous videos I've talked about how we are in this battle against good versus evil, that the devil is constantly trying to draw us away from happiness, peace, and our faithfulness to God. But this rosary is our defense against the evil. It is our weapon in the spiritual battle. And Our Lady, she wants you to call upon her at all times. She's there for us, to listen to us. On every single bead of this rosary that you pray, you can unite your troubles, your joys, your happiness, your sorrows with every Hail Mary that you pray on this bead. And through the rosary, we are diving deeper into the Gospels. We know more and more about Our Lady's sorrowful mysteries, joyful mysteries, glorious mysteries, whatever it may be. Those are her life stories that we see in the Gospels of Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. And before we know it, we're being drawn closer to the cross. When we see that Jesus died on Good Friday, when we look back at the Gospel readings, Our Lady was at the foot of the cross. And when we pray more and more to her, at the same time, she's walking us closer and closer to Jesus. And before we know it, we'll be at the foot of the cross with Our Lady as well. But why should we enter into a relationship with our mother? It's because she is the perfect model of obedience, of faith, of love, of peace. And that is from the Catechism, paragraph 2030. When we look at paragraph 2679, a little while after, it says, Mary is the perfect Oranus, a figure of the church. When we pray to her, we are adhering with her to the plan of the Father, who sends his Son to save all men. Like the beloved disciple, we welcome Jesus' mother into our homes, for she has become the mother of all the living. We can pray with and to her. The prayer of the church is sustained by the prayer of Mary and united with it in hope. So choose your weapon. And this rosary, you may not be able to say an entire rosary yet, and that's okay. Start with one Hail Mary from the heart. Eventually, work up to saying one decade a day, which is 10 Hail Marys. By Friday, you would have said the entire rosary. Eventually, praying the whole, whole rosary every single day takes 20 minutes. Start carving out that time to intentionally talk to our mother, for she wants to help you fight this battle against the devil. So pick up your weapon and pray to her this day. We'll see you the next time.